All right, let's do some of these problems. So we want to prove that the norm of x is less than or equal to this thing. Now, I don't know why Spivak likes to put them there. Um, I think it'd be a lot more natural to write x equals x1 comma xn instead of what he does, which is x1 through xn. So, eh, whatever. But basically what we're trying to prove is um, that, now what is this? Um, that is just, you got x1 squared plus x2 squared plus all the way up to xn squared, square root. He doesn't really tell you this, but or at least not here, but x here is going to belong to rn. So that's why we've got n of these things. So anyways, we want to prove that this is less than or equal to, and let's see here, we just got x1 plus x2 plus all the way through xn. Okay, so how are we going to prove this? Well, one thing that we see is that this inequality will hold if it also holds if we like square both sides. And so um, we could also write x1 squared plus then all the way up to xn squared is less than or equal to the quantity x1 plus all the way up through xn squared. Now what would this side of the equation look like if we were to actually write it out? Um, we would, let's see here, let's first do an intermediate, xn. Now we're starting pretty basic here, so um, let's like just start with basic tools. So basically this would be like foiling, but it'd be even more tedious and more difficult, but um, Let's try to get an idea of what this might look like. Um, so we have this x1 here, and we're going to have to multiply that by x1, and by x2, by x3, all the way up through xn. So what we're going to get is we're going to get um, x1 times x1 plus x1 times x2 plus, and then we're going to go all the way up to x1 times xn. And then, so that was for this one. Now we're going to have to do the same thing for x2. And so this is going to be plus x2 times x1 plus x2 times x2 plus all the way up through x2 times xn. And then we're going to do the same thing with x3 and so on and so forth. And eventually we're going to do the same thing with xn, so it's going to be plus xn x1 plus xn x2 all the way up to xn xn. Okay, now look at in each of these rows here, we've got, here we've got x1 x1, here we've got x2 x2, in um, the third row here, I didn't write it out, but we're going to get a term is going to be, one of the terms is going to be x3, x3, then all the way up, and we're going to get this xn, xn here. And all of the other junk that we have all outside of the things I've circled, all like this term here, and this term, all this stuff is just two positive numbers being multiplied by each other. So we know that those things are just going to be positive. And so basically what that means is that this whole sum here is going to be, how should I write this? This whole sum is greater than or equal to just x1 squared plus plus xn squared which is, what is that? That's literally just x1 squared all the way up through xn squared. So basically this 
equation, or rather this, because we got this, this inequality right here basically proves this. And so now that we've proven that, we get this. And we're done with our first problem. There we go. We've only got like a couple dozen, probably hundred of these more to go.